folks have recently had a subscriber ask me about stitching photos and how to reshape them if they look kind of weird when you stitch them. What do you see here? I have Adobe Bridge open and I went and shot some photos just recently of Grace Hospital where I'm working again. Used to work here, now I'm back. At uh, any rate, so what I did, I shot some photos and I might want to stitch these together to make a photo that's that you can't get with a lens that I, I don't have a lens that will shoot this kind of photo. So what I've done, I've got a photo I shot here. Here's like it's 39, 40, and 41 here are continuous. You see what I did? I, I left some overlap there so they could stitch together fine. So let's say I wanted to stitch this together and make a big wide panorama. So I'll show you how to do this and then I'll show you how to use the warp tool to make these things look right. So first I'm gonna click on this. This is NEF, you see I have a, um, it's a, it's a camera raw version and I've gone ahead and I've adjusted the color of it. So I'm gonna hold that. I'm, I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna hold command. I think it would be control on a PC. I'm gonna click this one. This is the second one I want in the chain and I want uh, this uh, 41 here. So those three together is what I'm gonna stitch. Now I'm gonna go up under tools. I'm gonna go to Photoshop and I'm gonna say photo merge. And so Photoshop's gonna come up in here, hopefully. There we go, and it's gonna just give me this kind of thing here. It's, I'm gonna leave it on auto. I'm gonna go ahead and do vignette removal and geometric distortion creation and say okay. And it's gonna take a minute or so to do this. Now, while this is happening, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about what we're getting ready to, to see here. Uh, when it comes back, because I had the, I turned my head, as I stayed in one place, but I turned my head, you're gonna have a weird sort of shift with the way the pixels are. It's not gonna look natural. It's gonna look kind of curved. And that's because I'm actually shooting a, a perspective type shot. Now, what we can do, it's gonna look weird and bizarre, but we can still make this work. And it'll be very cool if we use the warp tool to fix this. So here we go, you see what I've got? So you see naturally I've got this big long curve here and we don't wanna use this picture looking like this. I mean, that would look kind of odd. So how do I rectify this or, or make this sort of an acceptable looking picture? I use the warp tool. But first what I do, I go here, I don't flatten this image. I got this little, little hamburger thing right here. I click on this and I go ahead and I merge layers. So now you can see here, it went from three layers to down to one layer, but there's still all this checkerboard stuff here is still transparent in the background. I'm gonna crop all that anyway. So now the way I do this, I click on the magnifying glass and if there's a quicker way to do this, but I'm gonna hold down the uh, option key, option key on my Mac, I'm gonna click one time, maybe two times. What I want is I wanna be able to get some space outside here so I can use the warp tool effectively. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this, the drag tool, the select tool here uh, to get off the magnifying glass. Then I'm gonna go to edit, transform, and I'm gonna go to warp. So now I have this image where I can warp it. And so right off the bat, I can see, well, you know, over here we're, we're pointed kind of up toward, we've got an angle going up toward the sky. But what I like to do, I like to sort of pull this, first of all, pull this first dot kind of out here like this. I'm just grabbing it and dragging it and pulling it about like that. Uh, and I try to keep it sort of straight at first. I don't, I don't try to go off at an angle like this or anything. I try to keep it sort of straight. This is just my technique here. You, you, those of you that know the warp tool better, maybe you've got a different way of doing it. I've been using it for years. This is the way I do it. I generally go down here to the bottom and I'm going to pull this down, right? So you can see automatically here what I'm getting. I'm, I'm sort of warping this back to what it, what I would like to see, rather than really what reality would, would give me. Now you got this Bezier curve type thing here. You can pull this out if you want to straighten some things. Just grab on the little dot and see you can swirl it big time in or out. But I try to usually straighten up some of the flagpoles stuff over here. Here's another one. I can kind of grab this and pull. And and see so yeah, if any of these look wrong to you, you can grab in the middle here. And you can pull these things around like that. You, know, you, just grab, you can do almost anything with a warp tool. And it looks very cool to do it. I mean, you know, so there we go. I'm getting that looks not so bad, not terrible. Uh, you can grab in the middle of this, even on the lines here a little bit. Usually you can't. There you go. And pull down to where it looks about right. I might go up here and pull up just a little. And over here, do I need to... And you see, the eye is naturally going to be okay with some curve on this because they realize, I mean, the eye's going to realize you had to shoot somewhat fish eye with this to get this kind of shot. But that's not terrible, I and mean, it's not bad at all at this point. I'm using a little, once again, the Bezier just a little bit there. And, you know, that's not that's not bad considering where we started with this. I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the return key to uh, accept that. So now I've got this kind of thing. You see, I've got some blank sky here. Well, I just generally crop these things out. This is a panorama anyway, for heaven's sake. So I'm gonna pull down to there. 
Yeah, I got some people over here, but I don't mind showing a little bit of people going in. I'm gonna crop, crop, crop up to here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit enter to crop that. I see I got a little bit left on the side. I could go ahead and crop that again if I want to. Uh, let's crop that little bit out there on the edge. Of course, what I could do is go to control with command zero and bring it up where I can see it a little bit better. So there we go. That's, that's not so crazy warped anymore, is it? If I chose, I wanted to, if I want to get some of the oil spots or something, I might click on the uh, heel button or something here and just go and click on some of those to get rid of some of those oil spots and stuff. And there, I've got a pretty nice looking, uh, well-dressed up photo that I can edit and, and uh, color correct and whatever. And uh, that's not gonna you know, look so freaky when you see it as a header on top of a banner or something. I uh, hope this has been helpful to somebody. Peace to all who watch, subscribe to the channel if you like, if you have any questions, you know, please ask your questions. I'll try my best to get to them and uh, do my best to explain the bit that I know in the world. Thanks for watching.